Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, which is Upgrade Pack Day, but specifically today we are looking forward to one upgrade pack that was added to the code just a couple of days ago that would make this game, and specifically the SBC grind on this game, so much better this week if we get this one specific upgrade pack. I want to talk about that today, how you maybe can prepare for that and content today on this game because last week on Monday we also had a pretty interesting 85 plus player pick and I think EA is really starting to roll out the content. We're getting player SBCs every single day. Multiple different upgrade packs have come out last week. I'm expecting that again this week as well and I want to take a look at the latest leaks for more player SBCs including more flashbacks. So there's a lot of upcoming content on this game and specifically today's upgrade packs would be great in helping us get a lot of that content done. Now specific, uh, speaking of specific SBCs as well yesterday we had the 89 plus prime and world cup icon upgrade that we thought we were going to see but ea priced it at a very high price that we did not expect so that made the market move interesting ways especially with fodder spiking but now it's kind of back down we'll take a look at that and just what to expect on a Monday today in FIFA regarding the market because the market dropped off even more yesterday. A lot of prices continue to go down as people are draining their coins into these upgrade pack SBCs, doing the player SBCs. It just seems like a lot of player prices are slowly falling on this game and maybe we'll see a bit of a bounce back today as we normally do on Mondays, but there's a lot to talk about related to the market as well. So you guys know what it is. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about this upgrade pack because Mondays are upgrade days, right? And I don't think that this Future Stars Academy player pick, the 82 plus, this is not our upgrade pack for the week, right? We're getting something else today, 100%. And the pack that I hope we see is this one right here. This pack one that we haven't seen a lot of this year, but we've seen something similar to this earlier in Team of the Year. Remember that 78 plus times 3 upgrade pack that we had? Well, this makes me think back to that, but an 81 plus times 3 has been added to the code. It was just a couple days ago that it was added. I really hope this is our upgrade pack for today because this would make crafting SBCs a dream this week. And remember how good value and how good the pack weight was on those 78 plus times threes? Imagine an 81 plus. Now, of course, it would probably be a bit more expensive. So if we're hoping for that upgrade pack today, which in reality, is that an upgrade pack that we could see today? I think it is. Because if you think about the SBCs that we have right now, if EA want people to be doing upgrade packs, this is an SBC that they know we would want, right? I mean, the 82 plus player picks that are out, they're requiring an 82 squad. All of these player SBCs that they're releasing currently, like the Taram we had, the Smalling and the Jones, all the other player SBCs that are live, the 89 plus, and maybe even more like the 85 plus player pick or another upgrade pack that uh, we expect to see later on this week. We'll talk about that in a second. But all of those would be so craftable with an 81 plus times three and I would want to do a lot of those and I think that would be EA's best interest for upgrade packs today on this game. Now what would that require right? Well that 78 plus times three required 10 players, one rare and nine non-rares and I think this one since it's 81 plus is going to require more rares. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 11 rares as long as there's no squad rating requirement today. I think we'd be pretty happy. So stock your club with some rares that are discard price and non-rares as well. I think those are about 400 but you can probably get Get them on bid for 350 yeah 350 400 for these non rare so they're basically discard pretty easy to get especially on bid really good opportunity to stock your club with those today before those sbcs or that sbc drops hopefully that's our sbc for today now could we get something else yes but since that was added to the codes in such a recent amount of time i do believe that could be our upgrade pack today of course they could do some sort of 80 plus double 80 plus 81 plus player pick you know all the other options are still there but i really feel like this one would be great because we'd be getting three players back which would help us so much especially for these 82 and 83 rated squads um, that are in a lot of these kind of cheaper SBCs and it would also give us a great opportunity to pack the future stars cards that are now in this game of course with the mini release that dropped yesterday as well so really hoping for that 81 times three today stock your club with the golds um, now also what what that would help us craft is remember last week on monday we had an 85 plus player pick that was dropped as well well this week i don't know if they're going to do that but i think they'll do something along the lines of that and foot sheriff actually helped us out with a little bit of a leak yesterday saying that the 84 times five 
upgrade SBC will return this week or should return this week. Now, I don't know if that's happening today, but since we had the 85 plus player pick last week on Monday, as well as regular upgrade packs, it might be happening today as well. We've already seen this SBC earlier on this year, and it made the fodder market move, which we're going to talk about fodder regarding this in a second. But the last time this was dropped, it was during winter wild cards. It required an 83 rated squad, but it also required an inform and three 84 rated cards and 84s went up a lot because of this. I don't remember if we could do it like multiple times per day or anything like that. I would just imagine it would be like one time per day because that's a pretty nice upgrade pack. So hopefully that drops today. It might not be for a couple more days, but I do think that with this leak right there and the current state of the fodder prices on this game, we'll talk about fodder right off the bat today. I like 84s. They're still at around 4.8 to 5,000 coins. After the icon pack yesterday, they haven't moved that much. I like 85s as well, right? If you want to make a fodder investment, this part of the market is low enough to me where they could rise later on this week if we continue to get more of those gamble upgrade packs. Maybe we get an 85 plus player pick again today and the 84 times five later on this week. Stuff like that would really make the low tier part of the fodder market go up a lot. 85s are cheaper than they were on the weekend. I think this is a little bit of the sell off that is happening. People are selling these cards because the icon pack yesterday was pretty expensive. I mean, these guys were 13K, they spiked to 14, 15. Now they're back down to 12. This is almost a no brainer type of club stock investment, uh, which is kind of a rare opportunity after a big SBC has been put out. Like these guys all spiked to 14, now they're down at 12. So I think this is just some, maybe a little bit of sell-off, maybe a little bit of uh, over-investing potentially, but if there is any sort of SBC that requires 84 or 85 rated squads coming out later on this week, especially if it's a squad or an SBC like this, I think those cards could go up. So I am a fan of the 84s and 85s. If you want to club stock some of those, um, I think those could be going up later on this week. So definitely watch out for that right there. And hopefully that sort of SBC content begins today on this game with the 81.3 and the 84 times five, but we'll just have to see. Now, also for today on content, let's wrap it up. What type of content other than those SBCs could we see today? There is one more flashback SBC leak, and this is why I'm saying we have so many like leaks right now for player SBCs, specifically flashbacks. Uh, we had the Balotelli, but we have another one, Sebastian Holler, uh, who just made his return back to Dortmund after being sidelined and battling and beating cancer, which is incredible, right? This is a feel-good SBC right here, and this is incredible from EA. Haller is added to come as a flashback SBC. Stats expected, 99 physical. Incredible. Incredible from EA Sports. Now, the card stats don't look that amazing, right? But he's probably going to be just a fun card, hopefully pretty cheap. He's tall. Really good heading accuracy, heading. He's got the power header trait. So kind of a card that you could maybe just cross it up to and score some headers with. Or, you know, just honestly, a nice, cool card just to remember, um, you know, what he's gone through this year. And now that he's back, he scored a goal again, as I mentioned this last weekend. So he's back playing again for Dortmund, which is really, really cool. And uh, that's just a feel good story is honestly what it is. So that's our most recent leaked SBC. We don't often get player SBCs on Mondays, but since we have three of them still leaked right now, Haller, Balotelli, and the Jovetic, uh, I feel like we could get any of those today. Maybe not. Maybe it's later on in the week, but I think all of those have a potential uh, to be dropped here pretty soon, with this one being the most recent, and of course, stats expected on the leak. So, um, it's got to be pretty cheap that we ate. Like, let's be honest, right? You want everybody to have this feel-good story card in their club. Make this like, uh, what's an 88 rated card? Make it like 40 or 50K. Really easy to craft uh, with upgrade packs today. That would be very, very helpful. And we need like a four-star, four-star, or maybe just give them a five-star skill move or a weak foot. That'd be pretty nice as well. But just a fun card. Hopefully EA do something good with that one. Uh, and that would, you know, bring some hype to the game if the value is good, and it would probably just be pretty fun. So any and all of those cards could drop today uh, via SBC, but more so today is about the upgrade packs. Honestly, it's about the upgrade packs today because that's where the hype is on Mondays, and I think that's what would make the SBC grind on this, besides League SBCs, right? League SBCs are always there, and they're nice to grind to get packs and upgrades from, but an upgrade pack like an 81 times through would be so great 
to get those 82s and the 83s that we all need right now to kind of chip away at the 82 plus player picks if you're going for those or chip away at some of these other SBCs, uh, especially the 89 plus from yesterday. So speaking of SBCs, let's go back in time to yesterday and talk about this before we talk about the market because this SBC did impact the market, but it's more expensive then we really wanted it to be the 85 and the 86 rated requirements are fine in here, but it's the 88 squad that is making this SBC expensive. Um, it did make fodder go up yesterday, but it didn't make fodder like absolutely explode because the price on this, I think, as a lot of people see it, is just too much. It's still very craftable, but... I think EA smart in doing this. I mean, they always are smart, right? They know that they put it at a price that is a bit more expensive, but it's still doable. 520,000 coins. This was like 550K when they first dropped it yesterday. Um, it's again, you see 71% downvote. So people do really think this is not the best value, but it's an icon upgrade pack that only gives out primes and world cups, which is the first time this year they've reached to that level. So people are going ahead and doing it. And yes, fodder did go up yesterday, but it's kind of back down. 88s are like 33, 34,000 coins after they spiked up to 37, 38 K yesterday. I think a lot of investors sold off cards. I think these cards could rise back up a little bit. If you weren't able to sell yesterday in the peak of those prices, I wouldn't tell you to panic sell right now at all. I think some of these prices could continue to rise up a little bit throughout the week, especially if we get some good craftable content. I bought some 91s yesterday. Uh, Benzema was at like 60 to 61. I sold a couple at like 69 or 70 K. Be lazy listing if you still have your fodder on the higher tier because people are going to be doing this 89 plus just because it is the gamble pack of choice. We're getting the last couple swap tokens here in the next couple of days. So 84 times 20s, 85 times 10s. People are going to be doing SBCs. I think it's going to be a good time to sell fodder throughout the week as there will be a lot of demand for all the SBCs that are out there. But again, that's kind of what happened yesterday with this pack is the fodder did spike, but I think it was just invested a lot in and the SBC was an insane value. That's why we see some of these cards, like 87s were like 28K in this spike, right? It shows up here 25K for Trent, but there were absolutely 87 rated cards that were selling at 27 to 28,000 coins. Now they're back down to like 24. And that's just because there is hype for this SBC, but not an incredible amount of hype. So that those prices kind of came back down. Um, and then of course, yesterday, the market was impacted by this as well with the meta market definitely having some drops and specifically on some icons. Uh, you know, I was looking at this Eto card yesterday. Uh, Prime Eto was usually like last week, he was around 1.7 mil. Right now he's 1.56. That's a bit of an undercut, but continually with the coins being drained off of this market and specifically on some of the panic selling that we saw yesterday as people are doing this 89 plus pack the market is continually devaluing itself right now coins are being drained because of the upgrade sbc like yesterday the icon upgrade we've got all these player sbcs and of course we're not having as many coins put onto the market as less people are opening packs they're the saved up packs for team of the year all those coins are kind of starting to being drained off of this game as there's more and more content that's out and as fodder continues to be very very expensive that's just kind of where we're at right now with this game and the market continues to show that yesterday we had prices falling off and dropping even further there was even uh, even a decent amount of panic yesterday mudrick was below a million coins he was like 900,000 coins flat right now he's right around a million coins so some of your out of packs cards dropped off for sure in price but also a lot of your future stars from team 2 dropped off even further in price as well. Uh, you know, you've got Enketia down at 150,000 coins. Uh, Kavicha is at 580. I think he was down to even like 560 at his lowest point. Yeah, just a couple of minutes ago, he was down at 560. But he started the day yesterday in the high 700s and it's just been dropping off all day into today. Now, I do believe that the market will kick back a little bit today as it normally does on Mondays. Mondays are usually a really nice time to buy some cards off of the market and see a nice rise. And yes, if we do have a good a good bit of upgrade pack content today, some of the rises may be hurt a little bit by that. But I do believe there will be good opportunities to trade today on Monday as they're almost always are, especially with the impacts cards. So I would watch around these future stars team twos. Some of them have already started to go up like Enzo is 1.3. He was 1.25 for a lot of the day yesterday. Musiala is kind of low again at 1.39. 
Um, and Ketia is pretty low. Kavara is pretty low. Timber is at 216. I mean, I'm being very careful right now on this game with center backs and with center mids because also with yesterday's content, of course, we had the Taram SBC, which has a 62% upvote, which 170,000 coins for this, I think is a little bit too expensive, but it's not crazy, right? And this is a card that so many people want to just at least try because if you have a Genduzi who was around 150k before his price was crashing, right? This guy is, you know, a little bit better than that Genduzi. It's a nice SBC card. You could go out and craft for, for probably a lot less than 172k. 83 squad, 86 squad, not that hard to get done. Fun new card. He is three star, three star, which isn't that great, but he's high, high, six foot four. Um, and I'm assuming he's pretty good in game. Like, you know, uh, people love to compare these sorts of cards to like Vieira. You compare his stats to Vieira and it's not that far off for 172K. That's where it looks like it's good value per se. So I think a lot of people are doing this. You actually saw some um, links to this card go up in price. Like Hakimi's inform yesterday was 300,000 coins before content and then this SBC came out and boom he spiked up to 320 kind of came back down to 310 where he is now but some of your other links in uh, the league one started to rise up just because people I think are building teams around this card just because it's a French midfielder we knew this when the SBC league was dropped that this guy was just going to have hype because he's a French Hullet Gang midfielder in the League One. So that guy, that guy's kind of moving prices on the market. Uh, Vitinha dropped off a lot yesterday um, and some other midfielders. So that's why I'm saying be a little bit careful with midfielders right now in this game, especially in League One, and be careful with center backs from the Serie A, but center backs and midfielders in general, because so many people have added the Smalling or the Jones or the Taram to their team recently, which kind of, you know, drops the demand for some of those cards on this game. So that's why you're seeing midfield prices uh, drop a little bit because, you know, you have a substitute come out of the game. But specifically with this Vitina, he was 250, 260, went all the way down to like 200K flat, now back up to about 225. But with those PSG links, there's always demand there. So that's kind of why he's bouncing back up a little bit. But the reason why I shout out those center backs and the reason why I shout out those midfielders is because you'll probably see less bounce backs on cards that are low in those positions, especially if they're in the same league as those SBCs that are dropped because people just have a new card that they can go and, uh, and and get as an SBC and try out. So there's a substitute item there. We talk about that a lot, right? There's so many SBCs dropped on this game, so many players dropped on this game on a weekly basis that impact the market. Um, and that's kind of what we, that's one of the biggest catalysts that moves the market every week is a new card comes out, which makes uh, an older version go down in price, or it makes links to a uh, new version that comes out go up in price, right? But like this Ganduzi is down, wow, under 100,000 coins now after being like 150K last week, I believe. Like he's down pretty bad, 95K. For that's still a really good card, but I don't expect it to just go back up to 150 because we have a new Taram into this game. So I'm gonna be taking a look closely at these Future Stars Team 2 cards. And if we take a look at the new ones that we got yesterday, I know Malasia's card is cool. I know that it is 300,000 coins for this, though, is just confusing to me, man. It really is. I don't even know how much he is right now. He was 280K at his absolute lowest a few hours ago. Now he's up to about 325. This, to me, is it's just the hype and the rarity right now. Just like how Cherokee was overpriced last week, I believe this card will end up dropping off more because, yes, he's 89 rated, but 92 pace with decent stats at best and if you look in the end games he does have some really nice ones in here 90 stand tackle 90 slide tackle um he does have really good agility and balance which is interesting 71 composure is not amazing 94 short pass good pace of course early crosser but 300,000 coins for this right now in this game is just it's not it in my opinion i do believe this will drop off same thing with body of shill i think body of shill is a lot more uh, of course affordable at 100,000 coins but also, I just think his stats are worthy of about a 60 or 70,000 coin center back. And 72 acceleration in February is just kind of not it. Really good reactions and composure. I'd be interested to try him out. But, you know, that's just not a really top tier type of card. So fun to try out. And it's a cheap price at least. But those two guys right now, I do believe are overpriced just because they're rare. And right, the many of these cards on Sundays are always rare uh, and they have less supply on the market. So just be very, very careful uh, with those as well in the game right now. I'm really hoping for the upgrade packs today, guys, because 
I want to get on this game. And you know, I know we just spent a bunch of coins and we just spent a bunch of time and it was almost like tiring, wearing us out doing a bunch of upgrade packs during team of the year, but it almost feels like this is kind of like a secondary upgrade pack grind because if you have the opportunity to do 82 plus player picks as well and to craft into those, which I know we said earlier in the week and yesterday was like, this is really not good value to be turning in an 82 squad to get an 82 plus player pick, but just the opportunity of an 81 times three to be able to get 82s and 83s and 84s to craft not only these player picks, but other SBCs, that kind of puts us back in like team of the year grind menu mode, which would be just really, really great for this game right now at the moment with so much content. Like realistically, guys, there are a lot of SBCs that are out right now. I would love to craft the Catalera. I would love to just get the Smalling in the club. That'd be a fun card to have. Um, and, you know, I would, I doubt I'm going to do the 89 plus because I, I don't think this is worth it. I'd rather do the guaranteed the Catalera for 200,000 coins less than this and get a guaranteed card that people say is actually pretty cracked. So I'm not going to risk it on this, but I know a lot of people that would like to. And even with these 82 plus player picks, if we have Road to the Final coming up next week, those would be great player picks to be saving up towards the end of the week and uh, potentially hitting some live cards and saved up packs. I mean, what sounds better than saving player picks and packs for a promo that gives you cards that could potentially upgrade? Because Champions League is back tomorrow. Let's go. So that's exciting. And that's why we're really hoping, a lot of hope today for me is placed on that upgrade pack. Now, also a couple other things of note. We have right now in this game, 26 tokens that have been released. So if you're looking for that prime icon player pick, I think today with most likely our 27th token being released, the Prime Icon player pick will finally be available if you've been keeping up to date with all the tokens. We had one token SBC released yesterday, which was token number 26. Hopefully today we get at least one token, maybe two, to get us over that 27 token threshold, which would mean probably three or two tokens to go, depending on how many they drop today. 30 tokens in total, that's the full number. So watch out for that. And if you guys that are going for that Prime Icon player pick today, and then we're still looking for one last Academy player as well. I don't know if you guys remember that objective screen that showed uh, before this promo was even really in full swing during the first week, but we've had Tavares, uh, we've had Ramsey, Lindstrom, and we have had Anth uh, Gordon, but we're still missing an Italian player. There was five that were shown on that loading screen, and an Italian player was one of them, and we have not seen that player dropped into the game just yet so we're definitely still looking out for that maybe that's a part of content today maybe it's not going to be for another couple days but we're definitely keeping an eye on that and then of course um in the store i don't know if any more of our tokens are going to come in the store honestly i think we had our last one with this seventy-five thousand coin token right here yeah there's nothing else here Seventy-five thousand coin token right there i think that's going to be our last one in the store so i doubt they'll do Anything additional there? I just got a sale on a Prime Stoichkov, I think. Love trading with the icons. I bought this at 643, literally right before I started recording. Saw that he was super rare. Boom, selling it for 720. That's a really nice flip. And the last thing I want to mention is some of these cards that you maybe have forgotten about since about a month ago when they got upgraded. Um, specifically, my Mbappe, which is, I know, very lucky to have. But I think the History Makers are getting another upgrade either today or tomorrow. It's in the middle of February. They get their second upgrade. So... Plus ones for my Mbappe is going to go to an 88 today. And uh, it, whoever else you have, if you still have it in your club, those history makers are going to be getting a plus one either today or tomorrow. It's in the next couple of days. I don't exactly know which day that it is, but it's soon that we're getting another upgrade for those cards. But really, like we've been mentioning multiple times today, the hype, the hype today is with the upgrade packs. And hopefully EA Sports bring some hype with whatever they drop. But fingers crossed for that 81 plus times three and some other good content to keep us rolling throughout this week inside of future stars team too so if you're excited for the content today and for those upgrade packs hit the thumbs up on the video today comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it has been nate foot account and i'll catch you guys today in the stream peace out